Go ahead, ask a okay. question. I'm, I'm uh, confirming. For posterity. Okay, well, I'm confirming now, I will say that I called you all out here. Yes. To, uh, to check for a trespass authorization no, no, for 1115 no, no, West no, no, South no, no, Street no, 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 and 1119 no, West that's South not Street. That's the first thing I did. I okay, what? Well, okay. I called you out here to uh, keep the peace. And which we have, yes. Which you have today. Right. Okay. And uh, you asked me to check for a trespass we, authorization. We and our, our agents. Here, watch out, watch out. We and our agents had been uh, threatened. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. And this is the first I've heard of it. Okay. Well, we have. I want to make sure. Been out know. here for two hours. Okay. Well, the reason we call to keep the peace okay. is because we're being threatened, obviously. We wouldn't have called to uh, keep the peace had we not okay. felt that way. All right. Okay. And we wanted to uh, replace a steel pole on a property that we had authorization to do that. Which with. property is that? Uh, that would be 310, 311 Ritter Court. 311 Ritter Court. Okay. And that we have, we, I personally have a trespass authorization or authorization to tell the Orlando Police Department to remove trespassers from that property as well as the lot at uh, 115 West South Street. And uh, Orlando Police Department has been un unable to find the trespass authorization. Right. Nor have you that you said you had a copy no, of your but office. I, but I have Hold on, let me, Mr. Cowherd. You, this is not you, – you were going in a different way, and then I told you I was recording this for okay, well, for I'm, posterity's I'm sake, to, okay? I'm, I'm so to you called us out here, and you never said anything about being threatened. But you, you want us to keep the peace? It's fine. We kept the peace. All right. So you asked us to trespass these gentlemen who you believe are, are drug dealers out here at, a, at 1115 West South Street in an empty lot, which is not owned by you. There is no trespass authorization for that property. There is a trespass authorization for 311. Ritter Court, which I found on file. So, per your request, I checked for the authorization to help you out to, you know, help uh, the situation. And there's no trespass authorization on file for 1115 West South Street. I told you to get in contact with the owners. I'll try to get in contact with the owners to see if we can get a trespass authorization completed. Okay. Can, okay. I, can I finish now? Sure. Okay. Uh, you, this isn't an interview, though. This no, is, this no, is I, us I talking. You, 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 I know, but you just wanted, <laughs> you wanted to make a record, so I just want to make sure. Oh, this is a, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. Okay. And the uh, bottom line to this is you tell me that the city of Orlando has no record of the trespass authorization on 1115. West South Street, even though I provided a document to you. You provided an email with I no provide, case number, I correct. I provided an email with no case number correct. and told you the name of the officer that came to my office and picked it up. And then who is that? That would be That was for Anna 311, Marie right. Eason. No, she picked them up. She picked both of them up. She picked the one up, as I told you, for 1115 South Street. And you right couldn't find that for me, right? To I help couldn't me find okay. it the last five minutes, but you right. said that you couldn't find it either. In our right. system. It was in not found system. in our system, correct. And you also said you couldn't find any authorization for me to, to uh, enforce or ask you guys to enforce the trespass warning on the house at 311. Correct. Lake we have a, the, the, we, lot on we as the Orlando Police Department do have a trespass authorization for 311, like I stated several times before. But, you, but, but nobody's on the property, correct? And, so we're not going to trespass them. And, okay, so you're also telling me that the only time you can trespass a person off a property is when you find them on the property. Is that incorrect? Correct? Okay, so. But you I, don't have the authorization to trespass anybody from any of these properties. So, over so I, just to be clear, okay, you can trespass if I have authorization. Here, do me a favor, property. step back a little bit. If Thank I you. do, if I uh, call you to uh, trespass a person off who was on your property yes on my property or a property i have authorization you have to prove that you okay. have authorization uh, yes. i said that but if i do have authorization or it is my property the person that i want to trespass off the property does not have to be on the property is that correct? but they have to be present they have to be present correct okay. and if they're not here i can't trespass them. okay but if they're 10 feet away you can trespass. i just answered that question was well, the answer yes i just answered the question well, Mr. What was the answer? i'm sorry i didn't hear you i said they have to be present Okay, present, meaning not on the property, but nearby. Correct. We got to be able to make contact to them. Okay, great. With them. All right. Okay. So I just, Any other just, questions? Just to confirm, right. the last thing is that you have no record and you cannot find any record of my authorization to call you to trespass anybody off of 1115 South 1115 Street, West South Street or 311 Ritter Court. Okay, incorrect. You're not listening. 
1115 West South Street does not have a trespass authorization on it. You can't find 311, one. neither can you. 311, uh, Ritter Court does. Okay. And, but you're Do trying. you want me to say it again? 311, Ritter Court yes. does have a trespass authorization. Yes, I'm glad. But 1115 West South does not. Okay. And I, which is where these subjects are sitting right now. Okay. And I just want to confirm that the subjects are within 10 feet of 311 Ritter Court. Negative. This is not 10 feet okay. of Ritter Court. Right. They're, within, they're within 40 feet. They're within, you can easily. They're not on the property, there. though. No, they're. they're uh, what does that have to do with anything, Mr. Cowherd? Property. What it has to do with is I want to confirm that you're telling me that there is a trespass authorization. Yes, but not owned by you. But owned by me, and you have no author. You have no proof or authorization for me to call you to to trespass people off 311 Ritter Court. Is that correct? There's no correct. That's not your property. But that's not the question. The question is, what is do your I question? have authorization or not? You can call. Sure, if we catch somebody there, we'll trespass them, absolutely. So I can call and tell you to trespass them off. You can Ritter-Court. call, but, but we have to catch it, somebody there, yeah. We have to catch somebody on the property. So no, We can, don't mind doing that. So I can call if they're on 311, and you'll trespass them, even though I don't have written authorization. Is that correct? If we catch them on 311 on the property, but if they're, we'll trespass but them. But they're a foot from the property. No, no. Okay. So what do I have to do? You have to own that property. If no. you own that property on your own, so I, the only, then I would trespass them for you. The only way that you're telling I'd go and talk to them and let them know. I can't get any authorization to do this from anybody. You need to get the property I, owners. Unless I, but can I get authorization from the property? Have the property owner contact the Orlando Police Department right, and we'll fine. be helping out. And if the Orlando Police Department had that, would they have done it today? Trespass what? Trespass, trespass these people I asked you From to trespass where? off of both of these addresses. No, because nobody's at 311. If, if we had a trespass authorization 1115, yeah, I'd do it in a heartbeat. Okay. But we don't. Well, you say you don't, but if you did. If we did, it, yeah, if, if we could, it, if, we, if that had, existed, if then we would do it. If trespass yeah. authorization and authorization from me, from the owner. What I no, do. we need contact from the owner. We need to contact the owner. We need to give us their phone number or give me their contact information, and I'll take care of it myself. Okay. We can do it all electronically. You don't even have to be involved. You can just call when you see somebody sitting there, and we'll come and we'll take care of it. Okay. That's easy peasy. Do you have any way of telling me uh, when or how uh, you've ever trespassed anybody off this property? You'd have to go check that on your own. How would I do that? Same thing. Records. Records. Okay. Mm-hmm. So... If I want to find out if you've done any trespasses on either one of these properties since you well, had authorization. Well, we do not have authorization for 1115 West South Street. So well, quit saying we have authorization because we don't. Yeah, 311 Ritter Court we do. We can check that one. I right. can check to see if we have anybody I'm there. I'm trying but to be argumentative with you. I understand. trying to be clear. Okay. I am as well. Okay, and the clear thing But you keep here, saying the same thing. <laughs> yeah. No, 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 but you keep. Redundant. You Well, maybe not. I kind of think uh, maybe that's it's like a It's like a record. But the bottom line is. <laughs> You're going to do nothing, and I guess I understand that. The bottom line to me is... What do you mean we're I, doing nothing? We well, no, came no, out here to help you today. We're not trespassing the people. There's nobody the on the property? Well, there And no, be. we're not trespassing. We're not violating anybody's civil rights. We're not violating anybody's rights because you, there's no authorization for that property at 1115. And I'm not violating anybody's rights at 311 Ritter Court because there is no one there, there. And there was no one when I arrived on property or on scene. So, no, we're not violating anybody's rights, Mr. Cowherd. I didn't suggest you were violating anything. I'm letting you know. Well, I'm letting you know that one more time. I assure you Go ahead. we'll find it. If you find it, call me back. I told you that. No, 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 no. You t- we've been talking about this for 45 minutes. You went and you looked for it. You could not find it. Yeah. I checked our system through our teletype operators, how we check, and they said there's nothing on fire for 1115. I told you to get me the owner's contact information, and I will make sure that we get authorization. Here, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to get those documents. If you get it, then I'll make sure that it actually gets inputted into the system correctly so that we can start enforcing it. Well, let me ask Absolutely. you, knowing this is a constant problem, that it has been one for decades, one okay. of these addresses that I called, okay? Mm-hmm. How often will the Orlando Police Department come here and see for trespassers on the property when you have a trespass warning? Whenever we're available. Or if anybody sees a problem and they call us, like normal, if we're not responding for calls for service, mm-hmm. drive by, check by, because all it does is a drive by. Hey, you can see if somebody's okay, sitting well, there. I, I, I Absolutely. Just want you to know I have a 
record of the times we've called him. And I'm, oh, we have the record, too. <laughs> okay. so you need to compare it to the number of people you trespass. All right. Well, remember, we got to catch them on the property. If it's your property, we can do it. But if it has authorization and they're not on the property, we can't do it. If it's yours, it you belong to. It owns you. Hey, this is my house, 310. I live here. That guy that's over there no longer on my property, I want him trespassed from my property. All right, sir, turn my camera on. You are no longer welcome to this property. Can you provide me with your name, date of birth, to fill out a trespass? But since this is not your property, you can't do that. What do I have to do to be able to do that? You can't. There's already an authorization there. We have to catch them there. Or you don't make yourself obvious and be like, hey, there's several subjects sitting or just snuck into the house there at 311 Ritter Court. And then we'll come and we'll check it out. If we catch somebody, they'll get trespassed. Sure I'm, one last question. There's no way that the owner of a property could authorize me or anyone else to do that. They're saying only the owner can do it. They can contact us, right, and let us know. If they, We need to know from them. We don't need to know from them through you. You understand what I'm saying? Because you can't say, oh, well, he said I could do it. Because if we contact that person, I'm not saying right, that but that's what I'm letting you know. That's that's where it becomes twisted and confused. You know what well, I mean? Because if we go to court and we arrest somebody, well, Cowherd said that the owner said that he said he could do that. Well, you have a written document. I'll find it. If you, you find it, I'll come out here and crank it out for you. I assure you, you have it. I will, I will trespass everybody from the property. Okay, good. Absolutely. Well, I'll get the document. Give me your card so I can make sure I send it. Absolutely. Absolutely. Sir, for you. Get that so we can do this. I'll get it. <laughs> Here, take this with you and read it when you have time. No, I'm good. No, you no, can no, keep no, it. Take it with you. I don't need your email. I want you to know who the owner is. I already read it. I already have the owner's names right here. That's what I have. I, I need their contact information. Uh, like you know. I have their contact information. Yeah, well, I have their names. I need their contact information. If you have their contact information, give it to me so I can call them and I can get them emails. There it is. They're email addresses. That's you sending them. No, no, their email addresses are on here too. But did they respond? I don't see any responses. The way they responded so that it is works. they signed the documents y'all asked for. Do you have their phone numbers? Yeah. Here's a guy's phone number right Which here. Which one? There's Okay, that's for oh, an officer. Wait a minute, it's right here. I can't right, right, please. right. There's the guy's phone number right there. I just told you to call him. So who's this one? That's the guy. That's the vacant lot. Richard David. Yeah. No, that's. Yeah. That's who that is. Please have them call me with any questions. Right. Have so who is that? This is the president of the company that owns that lot. That lot is in somebody else's name. Well, I'm telling you, it's his name. His and his wife. Radius name. Realty. Here, let me. Take it with Radius me. Realty. I don't need it. Richard David. 407. I need to do it. He's in Here North Carolina. Here you go. Yeah, well, I'll give him a call. I'll give him a call. Okay. <laughs> What'd you say? Don't be dragging my Where are they uh, in North Carolina? These people are in Cary, North Carolina. Okay, that's far enough east then for my people. All right. Miss Cowder, is there anything else we can try to help you out with today? The Highway Patrol. I know. Academy. I got to ask. Uh, you know where I can find, find a pound of thousands and a machine gun? <laughs> oh, my goodness gracious. <laughs> hey, look. What else do you... Can you imagine that this lot's been sitting out there for... No, we talked... Uh, I'm curious as why it's still up. It was a code department, okay? They've left this sit here for... Yeah. Seven years like this, and they're over here giving me a hard time because I put up posts to keep the bad guys from driving on the property. Yeah. This is law enforcement with no code enforcement. Hmm. Right. Well, hopefully they can help. Who, the code department? Yeah. yeah. Get this stuff knocked you, down. Let me tell you how bad the city is. All right, gentlemen, I'm, I'm, I'm out. Goodbye. All right, take care, guys. Thank you.